yeah, that's it's going. There ain't no room at the end. Yeah, I'd there had this no 12 bar blues progression and a bit of a melody rolling through my head uh, on and off for about a month. And we've been talking about what kind of Christmas songs we might be able to work up to put in the set for the holiday season. I wondered if I could write a blues Christmas song, as Christmas blues are few and far between. Even the songs that deal with a bluesy theme, like Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas, or All the Blue Christmas Without You, they don't really have that blues sound. I wondered what Christ story dilemmas might have been overshadowed by generations of joy to the world, tell it on the mountain, and silent night. It also occurred to me that though I could recall songs written from the viewpoint of Mary, the wise men, the shepherds, and even the recollections of a child percussionist whose story isn't actually in the Bible, Perhaps I had never actually heard a song written from Joseph's point of view. I wondered what his blues might have been that night. What plight of that event might he have moaned about as he was trying to find a place of comfort for his laboring wife. And then it hit me. There ain't no room at the end. Once I had the hook rolling around in my brain and I slipped on the sandals of Jesus' earthly dad, the song practically wrote itself. They brought gold and myrrh and frankincense. Gold and myrrh and frankincense. Where the feeling in the stable started getting intense.